Hi everyone, this is your quick recap for the entire 40th season of Survivor, Winners at War, where 20 former winners of Survivor return to reclaim victory as the sole survivor and win not one, but two million dollars in the process. Season 40 premiered on February 12th, 2020, where the men and women arrive separately and immediately Sandra feels betrayed that Rob, who she just mentored with on season 39, is playing this season and didn't tell her. The 20 castaways are split up into two tribes, Decal and Sele. On to call is Tony, winner of season 28, Wendell, winner of season 36, Amber, winner of season 8, Kim, winner of season 24, Sophie, winner of season 23, Nick, winner of season 37, Sarah, winner of season 34, Yule, winner of season 13, Sandra, winner of season 7 and 20, and Tyson, winner of season 27. On Sele is Natalie, winner of season 29, Boston Rob, winner of season 22, Ethan, winner of season 3, Parvati, winner of season 16, Ben, winner of season 35, Michelle, winner of season 32, Danny, winner of season 11, Denise, winner of season 25, Jeremy, winner of season 31, and Adam, winner of season 33. Jeff tells the tribe about a new form of currency that will be used for the first time ever on Survivor called Fire Tokens. Each player starts out with one fire token, and if they are voted out, they will bequeath their token to another player and head off to an island called Edge of Extinction, where they will wait for a later chance to get back into the game. Jeff tells them it's already time for the first immunity challenge. Tribes wrestle in the ocean while attempting to bring a ring to their tribe's pole. In the end, Decal wins immunity, sending Sele to tribal. At camp, players see that they can use their fire tokens to purchase different items on the island. Sandra, the only two-time winner there, knows she has to prove she's the queen of Survivor and that her and Tony have some beef after she voted him out on season 34. Meanwhile, the king of Survivor, Boston Rob, is worried that he'll be an early target, especially after just being on season 39. Ethan's ecstatic to be here after surviving cancer and never thought he would make it back to the game. Adam and Denise walk off from the tribe and form a bond. Meanwhile, everyone on camp notices they're gone. Tony vows to be a calmer version of himself than previous seasons and holds back from looking for idols immediately. Yule and Sophie decide they want to work together, and Yule tells her that Kim, Rob, Tyson, and Jeremy all played poker together and reinforces the idea that there are people on their tribe that have way more connections than others. Danny tells Adam, Ethan, and Ben that Rob is super connected to everyone and maybe they should target him. Ben then spills to Rob that Danny threw out his name. Rob goes to Danny, who confesses that she threw out his name. Forgiving her, Rob pitches that maybe they should form an old school alliance to go against the new school players. Ben warns Adam that others were sketched out by him and Denise, and so Adam counters that they should go after Jeremy and Natalie, who played together on season 29 and are clearly close. At Tribal, one vote comes in for Adam, two for Denise, but the majority come in for Natalie, who gives her token to a very pissed off Jeremy, and becomes the first person sent to the edge of extinction. On to call, Sandra is still mad about Rob playing on this season and feels salty enough to target Rob's wife Amber. Yule continues to try and form an alliance of himself and the other one-time players, Wendell, Nick, and Sophie. Michelle and Ben want to make sure that as the new schoolers, they stick together. On Edge of Extinction, Natalie finds a clue that leads her to an immunity idol, and she can sell it to any player in the game for one fire token and sells it to Sandra. At the immunity challenge, Sele wins and sends to call to their first tribal council. Names are getting thrown out, Tyson mentions Tony's name, and when Tony finds out, he urges everyone to vote Tyson out. Yule warns Tyson that people are sketched out by his poker alliance with Amber and Kim, so Tyson decides it's better for him to turn on Amber and Kim, and at tribal, one vote comes in for Nick, three for Kim, but six votes come in for Amber, who bequeaths her fire token to her husband, Rob, and heads to the edge of extinction with Natalie. Ben and Denise go searching for idols in the jungle, and Denise finds one. This immunity idol has two halves, and Denise must give the other half to somebody else in order for it to be played on herself. Denise tells Adam that she's thinking about giving it to Parvati. Adam thinks that's a terrible idea, so Denise ends up giving it to him. Kim's feeling down after being one of the top targets last round, but ends up finding another immunity idol with two halves. She decides to give it to Sophie, who says that was a horrible decision for her. On the edge of extinction, Natalie finds a safety without power advantage, where a player can leave tribal council before a vote and given safety, but can't cast a vote. So she sells this power to Jeremy for one fire token. Tony and Sarah reaffirm their former alliance Cops RS that they formed on season 28. Decal then wins the next immunity challenge, sending Sele back to tribal council. Rob's not feeling good after feeling like he's the reason for losing the immunity challenge, but feels like they can target Jeremy and Ben. Danny feels like she's not adapting to the game at all and feels on the outs. 
Ben mentions the old school alliance right in front of Ben. Ben tells the others that they should go ahead and get out Danny. Danny then goes to Rob and says that they should go ahead and get out Parvati. Rob acts like he's interested, but he immediately turns around and says that they should get Danny out. At Tribal, everybody votes out Danny, and she bequeaths her fire token to Denise. Adam thinks it's time to draw a line in the sand and get out a big person in the game. He tells Denise he thinks they should get out Parvati and keep their relationships with Ethan and Rob. Ben and Michelle agree on the plan. Adam asks Ethan to consider voting Parvati out, and Ethan isn't a big fan of that. On the call, Tyson decides he should start throwing Sandra's name out. Yule warns Sandra that Tyson is throwing her name out. On the edge of extinction, Natalie finds another advantage that will help another player in the game find a steal a vote advantage on the island. And she can sell it to them for one fire token. So she sells it to Sarah who buys it and then has Tony help her sneak to Sele's camp and retrieve the steal a vote advantage. At immunity, Decal wins their second immunity in a row, sending Sele to tribal again. Adam tells Rob that he's sure he's got the numbers to get Parvati out. Rob tells Michelle and Jeremy he knows the plan and he thinks they should blindsight Adam instead. Jeremy and Michelle decide that going after Parvati might not be the right move, but they think that weakening Rob by getting out Ethan could be good. Michelle then tells everyone that Adam ratted out their Parvati plan, and at Tribal, Rob, Parvati, and Ethan all vote out Adam. Adam votes for Parvati, but the remaining players all vote out Ethan, sending him out on a 4-3-1 to to vote, where he gives his fire token to Parvati. Adam's feeling betrayed by everyone after being left out of the vote, and everyone tells him that he shouldn't have ratted them all out, so he goes on an apology tour. Sally knows that Rob and Parvati are still the biggest threats in the tribe. Rom knows him and Parvati might be the next target, so he decides to lie by saying Adam is still trying to work with them. Tyson tells Sandra and Tony that Yule, Sophie, Wendell, and Nick are all going to pick them off one by one if they don't do something. Sandra's still mad at Tyson for wanting her out, so she doesn't really listen. During the immunity challenge, Decal blows a huge lead, giving Sele the win and avoiding their third straight tribal. Tyson decides he wants to target Nick to break up the unconnected players. Everybody's acting like they agree, but they're all actually ready to vote out Tyson. Tony starts to get worried that letting Tyson go will start a domino effect of getting out big threats like themselves, but at tribal, seven votes fall on Tyson and he heads to the edge of extinction after giving his fire token to Nick. It's time to switch tribes. Tribes go from two to three. The new Sele tribe consists of Parvati, Nick, Yul, Michelle, and Wendell. The new Decal tribe is Jeremy, Denise, Tony, Sandra, and Kim. The new tribe Yara is Rob, Sarah, Ben, Sophie, and Adam. Jeremy wants to find those on the outs from the original Decal tribe and quickly links up with Kim. Denise has the same idea and also feels good about Kim. Sele's a little awkward with Michelle and Wendell since they used to date. On Yara, Adam, Ben, and Rob try to explain their side of things in regards to their original tribe drama to Sarah and Sophie. Then Sophie finds a two-half immunity idol who she gives to Sarah. The three tribes compete for immunity where Yara loses and heads to their first tribal council. Rob tries to make a plan to vote off Sarah and then implements the buddy system where he won't let anybody in the tribe leave camp and make other plans. But when Rob's not looking, Ben and Adam signal to Sarah and Sophie that they want to vote Rob. And at Tribal, that's exactly what they do as four votes fall on Rob. On the edge of extinction, Tyson gets an idle nullifier that he can sell to any player for one fire token. And he gives it to Parvati. At immunity, only one tribe will win, and that one tribe is Yara sending both Sele and Decal to tribal council. Parvati feels like she has nobody except for Michelle. Wendell, Nick, and Yule decide it's time to get Parvati out. On the call, Denise is feeling like she's the target and wonders if she should use her immunity idol. The other four tribe members decide on voting for Denise, but Sandra feels like this doesn't necessarily benefit her, but it benefits Tony instead. Not knowing that Denise already has an immunity idol, Sandra tells Denise that if she gives her two fire tokens, she'll give her an immunity idol as long as they keep it between themselves. They make a deal, giving Denise two immunity idols heading into tribal. However, Denise feels that Sandra is only doing this so her hands can stay clean. For Sally's tribal, Parvati and Wendell get into it, with Wendell telling Parvati he'll vote out whoever she wants if she gives him fire tokens. In the end, the majority of Wendell, Nick, and Yule vote out Parvati, and she gives her only fire token to Michelle. At Decal's tribal, before the votes can be read, Denise plays one of her idols on herself, nullifying any of the votes casted for her. Then Denise uses the other idol she has on Jeremy, nullifying any votes on him. Everybody casted their votes on Denise except for Denise, who casted the only vote that counts on Sandra. 
Who knows, she'll be wasting her time on the edge of extinction and then decides to leave the island for good. Back on Sele, Yule was uncomfortable with how Wendell treated the last tribal. On the edge of extinction, Rom finds three fire tokens. Tony's happy that Denise made a big move and put a target on herself, but Jeremy still sees Tony as the bigger target. Adam is convinced that Sarah has an idol, although it's really Sophie. Sarah confronts Adam about him saying that. At Immunity, Yara and Dekal come out on top, sending Sele to tribal. Yule decides that he wants to vote out Wendell. Wendell knows that Yule is probably going after him, so he tries to get Michelle and Nick to vote out Yule instead. Yule wants to find a way to vote Wendell out and also get his fire token, so he tries to hatch a plan and Michelle and Nick aren't big fans of it. So at Tribal, Nick and Michelle side with Wendell and vote out Yule, who gives his fire tokens to Sophie and Sarah. The players on the edge of extinction are getting ready to compete to get back in the game, buying advantages with the fire tokens they've collected. But first, it's time for the tribes to merge. All 11 remaining players come together to form the Koru tribe and are getting ready to add a 12th member after the Edge of Extinction players compete to come back in the game. The competition comes down to Rob and Tyson, but in the end it's Tyson who edges out a win and comes back into the game. Wendell tells Jeremy that Nick is his number one, which makes Jeremy want to get rid of Nick so that he can be Wendell's number one. Ben and Tyson worry that since the bigger names have been taken out, they'll be next, so they want to set their sights on a lesser known player. Wendell wants to get Denise out since she's the only one there with an actual resume building move. In a cold first individual immunity challenge, Jeff reveals that both the last man and woman remaining in this challenge will win immunity. In the end, Denise wins for the women and Jeremy for the men. Ben tells Tony and Jeremy that he wouldn't mind Nick or Wendell going. Jeremy and Tony would rather have Nick go since Wendell is a bigger target down the line. Nick said he wouldn't mind Adam going since he's close with Denise. Sophie says she'd rather have Wendell go because she feels that Jeremy is tight with Wendell. Jeremy desperately doesn't want Wendell to go and starts pushing Adam as the vote. And although Michelle, Wendell, and Nick vote for Adam, the remaining nine vote out Wendell. Michelle and Nick are sketched out after being left out of the loop on the last vote. Nick feels like it is his obligation now to take all of these people out. Adam is feeling good right now and has a theory that there is an idol on Jeff's podium at Tribal Council. On Edge, Parvati finds a 50-50 coin that can be played during a Tribal Council and give the player a 50-50 shot at being immune for the vote. She decides to give it to Michelle, then Kim pulls out a win at the individual immunity challenge. Kim wants to split the vote between Nick and Adam and possibly have Michelle as a target too. Meanwhile, Adam is wanting Sarah out and thinks that her and Ben are too close. Tyson doesn't like that Adam is trying to rally everyone and wants to flip it on Adam. Ben finds out that Adam said he was too close to Sarah and confronts him about it. In the end, Tyson, Adam, Sarah, and Nick were all brought up as targets and discussions continued into tribal where everybody is going around whispering to one another. Before the votes can be read, Adam decides to see if the symbol on Jeff's podium is an idol, but is wildly unsuccessful. In the end, eight votes fall on Adam and he is sent to the edge. Players in the game and on edge of extinction get a visit from their loved ones before getting to the immunity challenge, where Tony wins and is safe from elimination. Jeremy is wanting to split up Sarah and Sophie, but Tony doesn't want to. Tony would rather Tyson go, even though Sarah really pushes Kim to go. Tony then mentions maybe wanting to flip the script on Jeremy. Kim tells Tyson and Jeremy that she wants to vote out Sophie and tells them and Denise that she has an idol. After even more whispering and plotting at Tribal, Jeremy decides he's going to play his safety without power advantage where he cannot vote but will be safe from elimination. Groups then re-scramble at Tribal to talk about the vote, and Sarah decides to play her steal a vote advantage, keeping Denise from voting and allowing herself to vote twice. Finally, after everybody votes, Kim plays her immunity idol on Denise, making any votes on Denise not count. Two votes come in for Denise, which don't count, two count for Sophie, and the remaining five come in for Tyson, eliminating him for the second time. The group that voted out Tyson is a mess after they plan to vote out Jeremy at the last tribal, but are ready for him to be enemy number one in this round. Kim and Michelle feel more left out than ever. Early in the morning, Tony heads out to search for idols in the jungle and ends up finding one. Tony continues to pretend that he wasn't going to vote out Jeremy at the last tribal, but Kim isn't really buying it. On the edge of extinction, Natalie finds an extortion advantage, which allows her to block a player from competing in the next immunity challenge and voting at the next tribal unless they pay a certain amount of fire tokens. She decides to demand six fire tokens from Tony. Tony ends up getting the fire tokens and then wins his second immunity in a row. Sarah, Kim, Ben, Sophie, and Nick want to throw the votes on Jeremy and Michelle. Jeremy wants to target Ben and wrongly thinks that Kim, Denise, and Tony are going to do the same. Meanwhile, Tony knows he needs to split up Sophie from Sarah, 
and knows that votes are going to be split. So he goes to Nick, Jeremy, and Michelle to all throw their votes on Sophie. At Tribal, Tony's plan works and the four votes thrown on Sophie are enough to get her out. Sarah is pissed at Tony for blindsiding her. Tony reassures her and then tells her and Ben about his idol. Ben is still wanting Jeremy out. Kim starts going around saying that it might be time for Tony to go. Meanwhile, in the jungle, Ben finds an idol and is having trouble deciding if he should go with Kim to get Tony out or just work with Tony. It's a double individual immunity again with one woman and one man each receiving immunity, where Tony and Denise come out on top. The group planning on voting Tony is feeling pretty bad, but are okay with voting out Jeremy. Ben tells Tony that Kim was leading the charge to get him out before he won immunity, which worries him about Kim and that Kim is going to rally the women and Nick to get a majority. Tony goes around and tries to switch votes to Kim. Jeremy goes to Ben and pitches voting for Kim instead. Michelle then gives Jeremy the 50-50 coin to use at Tribal. At Tribal, everybody is flipping the out again and Kim is getting sketched out thinking that Tony is setting her up. After voting, Jeremy decides not to flip the 50-50 and even after getting three votes on him, the remaining five go to Kim. Jeremy and Michelle re-establish that they don't trust anyone and Jeremy gives Michelle her 50-50 coin back. The tribe is wanting to target Nick this round, but Nick wins his first individual immunity, making him safe at tribal that night. Jeremy and Michelle know that Ben is continuing to try and plant seeds with him, so he tries to convince Tony and Nick to throw their votes on Ben too. Tony doesn't want to do that, so he wants to make sure that they throw three votes on Jeremy and two votes on Michelle. So even if Jeremy and Michelle vote out Ben, he won't go. Before the votes are read, Michelle decides to use her 50-50 coin on herself, and it lands on safe, making her immune. Two votes fall on Michelle, which don't count, two go on Ben, and the remaining three fall on Jeremy, eliminating him. Tony and Ben decide that Michelle needs to go next, but are also scared about Nick. Michelle is pissed at Nick for not voting out Ben, telling him that they're on the bottom of the pecking order now. On edge, Natalie locates a power to place a disadvantage on a player in the next immunity challenge. She can sell it to any player she wants, so she sells it to Nick for 8 fire tokens. And he plays the disadvantage against Ben. Then Michelle wins individual immunity. Ben, Tony, and Sarah are ready to get Nick out now, but want to pretend they're getting out Denise. Tony sets up in his spy shack in the trees and overhears Denise saying to Ben and Sarah that they need to target Tony soon. At Tribal, only Michelle is included on the plan to vote Nick, and Nick is eliminated. It's finale time, and it's also time for one more member of the Edge of Extinction to return to the game. In the end, Natalie and her many advantages she bought with her fire tokens she earned throughout the entire season wins the competition and returns to the game after being eliminated for 33 days. Natalie pretty early on says that the jury is very much voting for Tony if he's there at the end. Michelle then wins the next individual immunity challenge. Natalie is ready to work with Michelle and break up the other four and reveals to her that she has an idol. Tony and crew are paranoid that Natalie has an idol and they don't know where to vote. At Tribal, Natalie pulls out her idol and plays it on herself. Tony then plays his idol on himself. Then Ben plays his idol on himself. Four votes come out for Natalie, two for Ben, none of which count. So there's a revote between Denise and Sarah, and all four votes in the revote fall on Denise. The next morning, Natalie finds another idol while searching through the jungle. Tony then wins the next individual immunity challenge. Natalie wants to pull Sarah with Michelle and vote out Ben. While talking to Sarah and Tony listening in his spy shack, Sarah notices Natalie's idol hiding in her buff. Her and Tony decide they should vote for Michelle instead since Natalie will use the idol on herself. But first, Ben tells Sarah that she should go ahead and vote him out so if she does get to the end of the game, people can't say she was dragged there. At Tribal, Natalie plays the idol on herself and Sarah does as Ben said, becoming the deciding vote to send Ben out 3-2 over Michelle. Natalie then wins the final immunity challenge securing a spot at the final Tribal Council. Natalie decides to bring Michelle with her to the final three, forcing Sarah and Tony to compete in a fire-making challenge to determine the final member of the final three. After a close battle, Tony defeats Sarah, bringing a conclusion to the Cops RS Alliance and having Sarah become the final member of the jury. The jury then questions Natalie, Michelle, and Tony before casting their votes on who they want to win Survivor 40 in the $2 million prize. And with 12 jury votes, Tony becomes the winner and sole survivor of season 40, Winners at War, with Natalie also receiving 4 jury votes and Natalie receiving 0. Thank you guys so much for watching this recap of Survivor Season 40. If you want to check out the other recaps that are on this channel, I highly encourage it. I also highly encourage you to watch the full season because there's always a lot of stuff that I leave out because I like to do that. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel and like this video, that would also be appreciated. So until next time, thanks guys.